my opportunity kind of when the pandemic started and people outdoor coffee became very popular and I saw kind of a market there. I mean, we're in the middle of Limerick City here as well every Saturday, you know, so this is a hive of opportunity for small businesses. These food trucks and coffee trucks and trailers, like if you look online, they're popping up all over the country. And people enjoy them, like we've become a local coffee shop to people, even though we're only here one day a week, you know. Obviously during the week, we try our very best to create something and to see people queue and to spend their hard earned money on it is, is very rewarding. And knowing where your food comes from and, and knowing the people that make your food, and I think that's definitely um, somewhere that we're, we're definitely going to push forward in the future with. My name is Paddy Mulcahy. I'm an ambient electronic composer from Limerick City. On the industry side, from where I'm sitting, there's going to be a massive bounce back. And there's, like, there's everybody I've spoken to is absolutely hungry to release music. The greater public, from their perspective as well, I think everybody's just eager to be able to meet their friends and go to concerts. I think there's definitely been a move towards local. I think people have had time, some people have had time, to look at where their food comes from and to realise that there is actually a wealth of locally made, locally grown um, food from producers within Limerick and you know nearby. It's up to us to make that available to people in an easy, convenient collection so that they can support their local people. Morning, uh, my name's Marty Mannering. You're here um, outside the world's first bicycle engineering academy here in Limerick. This is the old Krups factory. Here you are in the heart of the mechanical engineering workshop. You've got classrooms here, we've got welding bays here, we've got frame manufacturing departments here. Nobody has ever done anything like this. This isn't just a morph of something else that was developed somewhere else in Holland or Norway. This has been done here by a group of guys, pretty much a father and son team. The students will come from the classrooms, they'll learn the maths, the engineering skills, turning skills. I try and give people my 30 years of experience in the bike industry as an entrepreneur, how it works, how you do things, how you get up in the morning early, how you work harder, how you stay later, how you do all of these things to make whatever industry you're working in work for you.